Hello everyone, welcome back in the splash screen video tutorial part 3. So guys, in this video tutorial I have added this progress bar. Previously you have seen my video and you found that we are showing the completion percentage of the task with the help of label. But right here we are going to use the progress bar. So guys, uh, let's get started and uh, if you have not seen the previous video on the splash screen so guys just follow the below link and just watch that video first and come back here and continue with this video so guys let's get started so in the first step i would like to show you the fxml here so first you have to add a progress bar on the fxml so this is the splash screen dot fxml file so right here you can see i have added this progress bar okay and I have assigned the FX ID to this progress bar okay that's simple okay and uh, this is the previous label that we are using for displaying the progress percentage that's all and uh, you have to save this file and close it and now come back here in the NetBeans ID this is the splash screen project so guys don't worry about this project just watch the description box and you will get the link of the project and you can download and import in your NetBeans ID and then continue with this video tutorial okay guys so I hope you have set up this project in the NetBeans so you can start here okay and the first changes we have done here in the fxml file after that we have to come here in the fxml document controller dot java file okay right here we have to create the instance here of this progress bar with the help of this at the rate f xml annotation okay so here's the progress bar and this is the fx id because we have to get the instance of the same object that we have added on the f xml okay after that we have to create one static instance of the progress bar because once we initialized this f xml controller we will get the instance of the progress bar from here and we will assign this reference to this static reference okay so it will be available every time we will going to update the progress on this screen so come here in the initialize method you can see the stat progress bar and is here and we are assigning the reference of the progress bar okay okay we have done here with the fxml document controller dot java now come back in the my preloader dot java class so what are the changes we need to do okay here this is the simple thing previously we are updating the label okay we are updating the label I am talking about this label that is available on the preloader screen that means the splash screen dot fxml right now we have the progress bar just above the label so we have to set the progress here so I am using fxml document controller dot stat progress bar dot set progress method because we have define this stat progress bar as a static okay so and this progress bar has a method set progress to display the progress inside the progress bar okay so this is the method of the progress bar to display the progress and previously we were using this get progress method okay so the same thing i have used here okay so this line i have added and in this label I have done a small changes because whatever the progress is coming from the main okay this splash screen project dot java file so that progress value is coming in a float value and this value is from 0.1 to 1.0 so I have to multiply by 100 to display the percentage like if the value is coming 
0.1 then we are multiplying it by 100 that means the overall percentage is 10 percent and the progress bar will display the completion percentage equal to 10 okay in the similar way we are going up to 100 percent okay now i would like to show you here so how we are sending the progress so as i have described in my previous video we have to write some code in the init method to send the notification that is handled by this mypiloda.java method that means the handle application notification method okay this method and from this place we are sending the notification inside the for loop and this is the line that is sending the notification and this is the progress this is the double value that we are sending to the my preloader okay you can see here this uh, progress is double and uh, this count limit is 10 okay so we are sending the percentage like 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 0 0.7 up to 1.0 okay and with the help of this notify preloader we are passing the object of this new preloader dot progress notification and this is the double value we are passing here okay after that i am putting the main thread to sleep for two seconds because we are uh, taking some break uh, for updating the continuous value on the screen so the progress bar will take a small time to display the progress on the progress bar okay so this was the overall setup this was the overall changes that we have done here to add the progress bar in this splash screen project and now save all this stuff and I will show you how it is working now taking a clean build of this existing project okay guys it's ready to run and now go to this file and click run file and you can see here on the screen this progress bar is running and loading the progress percentage here inside this progress bar also this label is running according to that and showing the percentage of completion now see step by step is running now it's 100 percent okay now it has launched the main screen of the application after finishing the preloader task so guys this was the example that I have covered here in the NetBeans and I have described you how to add the progress bar. I suggest you uh, guys please watch the first, second and third video step by step then you are able to understand what is happening here and you can do some changes accordingly according to your choice, according to your requirement in this project so also i have provided this link of this project so you can download and use the same project as it is and you can understand much better after doing these practices still you have any doubts so guys please ask your questions and in the comment and i will try my best to answer your questions so guys if you found this video useful so please like subscribe and share and keep watching the cool it help